Welcome back into the Running Eagle Sports Network. My name is Billy Mangum, the Sports Information Director here at Life University. I'm joined by today by head men's soccer coach Alex Palma. Uh, coach, thanks for joining me. Uh, we're here to talk about your uh, 2019 season, uh, coming off a, a pretty good one last year. Um, you know, had some had some ups and downs, but uh, really thought the team came together at the end of the season. Uh, really looked like you guys were playing uh, some of your best soccer near the end, which is always what you want to see. Uh, didn't really uh, lose lose a lot of a lot of your starting starting players in last year's graduating class. So uh, let's talk about your uh, your schedule. Opening up the year on the road at Talladega, um, August twenty fourth, and then uh, play play a lot of games on the road. Uh, starting off on the road to challenge your team, and then coming back home September twenty first. So let's talk about that that first road one against Talladega. You know, let's talk about your. Overall schedule. We'll talk about your first couple games, and then uh, we can get into some more specifics. So, what are you looking at of your team to uh, start start the year on the road at Talladega? Yeah, well, we thanks, Billy. I mean, we uh, we do have you know um, so happened to be this year we had a lot of home games the last two years, so we have a lot of away games this year in the first part of the season, uh, which is great. Um, you know, road trips are always good to bring the team together. You know, see what kind of uh, mm -hmm. team we have. Um, Talladega opener. I mean, at home last year we were winning, I think, six one at halftime. But but uh, they came back in the second half after a red card for us. So, uh, for what I remember, a good team, solid team. So uh, it'll be interesting uh, to start with uh, with that one. Um, and then we have some pretty good teams uh, on the uh, on the schedule uh, again uh, to set us up for uh, later on in the season conference play. Um, yeah, Tennessee Wesleyan, Reinhardt. Um in the same week on the road again. Um, then you bounce back, True and McConnell, a little closer to home, have a little bit of time off, and then you host uh, Martin Methodist at home, who's always been a staple in the Southern States. Mm -hmm. um, what, are, what are you looking for out of your team, you know, coming back? That'll be the first time that they're around their home environment and their home crowd. Um, how, how do you think the boys are gonna play around that environment? No, they always do well. I mean, we're always very appreciative. We we do have a great home setup. We have a lot of fans coming to the games, which is always nice for the for the guys to come back to. Um, you know, we we do like you said. We do have a lot of returning players. Uh, we brought in six, seven very key new players that we I think are going to strengthen the team where we needed to, uh, some help for, uh, based on what we saw last year. So. I think it's going to be a good uh, good season for us, a uh, good start of the season. Uh, we're looking forward, obviously, to playing Martin Methodist last year on the road. We beat him. Um, but as you well know, I mean, that's not a guarantee you're going to beat him again this year. So it'll be a good uh, good side. They're always a well coached. Uh, they are one of the powerhouses in the south uh, southeast. So uh, looking forward to playing them at our own turf uh, in front of our fans. Um, I think the guys will be ready for uh, for that challenge. Definitely, and uh, you know, looking at your conference schedule this year, uh, Mid South adding Thomas Moore, so that's another game. Um, but I mean, the Mid South continuously puts out pretty good soccer programs. Uh, Lindsey Wilson always always a good opponent. Um, you got Campbellsville, that's not bad. Cumberland's um, has a couple big strikers up top. You know, Georgetown pretty good. Um, I, I mean, our our conference schedule is is a pretty tough one, and you got a lot of those games at home. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about those adva those advantages. You know, it's uh, an even split. You got I see, let's see, four four home, four away. Um, but you got those three home games back to back against Candlesville, Lindsey Wilson, Cumberland. Um, those are three big big games, and we get to play them at home. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean traditionally it's it's a it's a conference of uh, really five teams that that don't. Um, that are very close to each other in terms of strength. Um, but uh, I, I obviously we're trying to get information on all the conference opponents and looking at what the what Shawnee State or what uh, Georgetown and, and Pikeville are doing. I mean, they're obviously trying to strengthen their teams as well. Uh, Thomas Moore is the is the team that we don't know much about. Uh, they're obviously the newcomer into the uh, into the league into the conference. Um, but yeah, I mean, playing Campbellsville, Lindsay, and, and Cumberland at home, uh, as well as Cumberlands, which which are four of the five teams, including Life, um, that should be considered favorites for the uh, for the championship. Um, you know, that's an advantage for us. Uh, our goal this year, this is the third year that I'm the head coach here at Life University, and, and people have been telling me that have been a lot longer in the in the business than I have. That it takes usually three to four years for a coach to to turn a program around and to to get into that winning uh, championship winning uh, mode. Um, 
So we expect a lot from our team this year, and our goal is to win the uh, regular season as well as the conference championship. But yeah, I mean, um, to, to go on your point there, mm -hmm. um, you know, three to four years, that gives you time to bring in your own recruits and, um, you know, not necessarily you want to get rid of the older players. Um, definitely, you know, respect the players that built that program that were there for the initial years. But, you know, you've kind of had a chance to, you know, recruit your own kind of players, build the team how you want to build them, your formations and everything like that. Um, we saw that a little bit last year, you know, with the way that some players ended up developing and, you know, some, some eligibility concerns, you know, kind of hindered you guys uh, late in the season. Some late injuries. I know uh, Terry Jules went down in the conference tournament, and that was, you know, a pretty big loss. But um, he's coming back ne next year. He's coming back healthy. Um, and you got some supporting cast around him. So um, I guess my final question is, you know, what is what is the expectation for this year? You know, you mentioned regular season champion uh, finishes a tournament, but you know, overall, what is what is the kind of feel, the attitude that you want your team to embody this year? Well, we have, I mean, uh, this upcoming class has 17 seniors. So for those guys, it's their last year, last chance to win uh, win a championship. So. Um, I, I don't think we have to motivate the team to win those championships. We want to finish up on on a high note uh, for them. Uh, we're certainly appreciative of the of the people who graduated this year and, and uh, the year before. Uh, they helped start building this program back. Um, but like you said, I mean now it, this more and more for the coaching staff and myself who've been here now for our third year becomes more and more our our team, our program. Um, we strengthened the, the team in, in positions where we felt we needed some strength, so we added some guys for the back, we added some guys from the middle, and obviously give Terry a little bit more support up top, so some new forwards are coming in uh, as well. So we have a little bit more variety in the way we can we can play, the way we can attack, the way you know uh, we can build up from the back. Uh, we, we will see in preseason what is the best uh, system formation for us. Uh, we have it pretty much um, in our head, but it's always, you always want to get confirmation in those, uh, in those preseason games, in the first couple of games of the season. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a, a great year for us, um, you know, and um, uh, I think uh, people in our conference know as well that we are we're a strong team, strong side. Um, and then continue the culture, which we have in our team, I think, set pretty well of not only doing well on the on the pitch, but also doing well in the classroom. I think our team has had a consistent 3.0 or higher GPA uh, as an average GPA. So we uh, we like to continue that. So um, and then um, continue the the culture that was set by uh, by the previous groups and and get into that winning mood. And, and um, but it's time for us now. We feel very strongly about that. The mood on the team is very strongly uh, like that that we need to win some championships. We need to win some uh, some hardware. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I, I think this is the, the way to do it. You know, you test out the team early, um, test their resilience and, and see how well they can get along with each other on the road. Um, and, you know, looking at the schedule, there's there's none of those games where, um, you know, you see in, in other sports that, you know, it's it's an automatic win. You know, you wanna, you wanna test your side as much as you can and I think doing that on the road is, is a great way to start. Um, so, Coach, August 24th, that will be your uh, season opener. And then uh, when when do you guys uh, open up preseason and um, when does all that start? So, yeah, the team is coming back together uh, July 30th uh, for some team meeting. We start uh, with two-a-days the week of July 31st, uh, do some testing uh, with uh, with the players, uh, you know, see if they – Mm -hmm. their, uh, their summer workout plans um, and then um, we have some friendly games uh, scrimmages set up uh, in preseason um, in the weeks leading up to Talladega and then you know, obviously August 24th we're hoping uh, to get a W uh, on the road in Alabama. Awesome coach well thank you so much for sitting down with us and best of luck this year. Thank you really.